Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. We are here today with machine learning on BLE Sense, Arduino Nano BLE Sense. I hope you guys are ready with this particular board guys. It's very important that you have this device in hand and do things practically what I'm showing you one by one systematically step by step. It's going to be interesting and a long lengthy series. There's going to be ton loads of videos which I'm going to make and post it. It's, you know, you, you are going to learn about machine learning and artificial intelligence in a real world with practical examples. And you are going to deploy those into your BLE Sense board and you are going to see how it works. So that's what we are. That's the goal of this particular series. Anyways. So let's let's take a look at it where we are. So we are on lesson number two and in this lesson I'm going to show you uh, a library called Arduino APD S9960. It's a board manager library. All right. So this library allows you to basically interact with sensors available within the Arduino BLE Sense, within this particular BLE Sense. So you have multiple sensors, guys, as I showed you in the lesson number one. So we have a gesture color, gesture control sensor, gesture sensor. We have a color sensor. We have a light intensity and proximity sensor. We have a microphone and ton loads of other things, right? So this particular library, APD S9960, basically, enables activates the inbuilt sensors and and you will be able to write your own code using c programming you will be able to write the code to activate these sensors and make multiple devices it can be iot robotics ai anything so basically the gestures readings are based on the detection of movement of the hand over the photodiodes which are inbuilt so there are photo diodes inside this you know we may not be see like this but it's all inbuilt inside the sensor right while the proximity is read by the amount of infrared light reflected by something anything that reflects on the ir back to the sensor so the color is given as a 16 bit value for red green and blue and white rgb and white components if the light that hits the sensor is basically an ambient one and not a reflection of some other object it is possible to calculate the color temperature as well so you can imagine the possibility of iot applications or even ai applications you can build based on the environment your bot is actually right so it's it's guys otherwise you know it, it's possible to detect the color of the object that is basically reflecting the light onto the sensor right so you those of you who have worked on arduino before you would have exposed to multiple different sensors right there are sensor kits available uh, which comes with about 30 40 different types of sensors all those are this big the each and every sensor itself is the size of this particular board however in nano 33 ble sense you have almost 8 10 sensors which is inbuilt right so it's very comfortable to make a very small and compact superb ultimate device so Using the APD S9960 library, which we are going to install now, right now in this lesson, as we activate these sensors, we will be able to build different, different varieties of uh, robotics and, uh, uh, you know, IoT projects, guys. So, for example, we can build a kind of gesture control robot, something like this, right? So, you, you can control the movement of the bot with your, just with your hand gesture which is going to be like this your your sensor is going to be like this with the gesture you can just say left right forward back all those things are possible right so that's 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 going to be a pretty uh, interesting project you can use a very simple uh, chassis and you know a couple of other uh, electronic components which i am going to show you we are going to actually build this bot we will also build a robotic arm in which you will be using machine learning stuff where you will train the arm to pick and place the object three or four times using BLE. Once you train it, gather those data, train the model, deploy again into the BLE. And once you power it on and leave some object in front of your robotic arm, it's going to just detect it, take it, place it, take it, pick it up and place, pick up and place. It's going to repeat. So these kind of exercise we will be 
able to perform and hopefully i'll i'll build it and i'll show it to you you will learn along with me so that's how uh, these things are guys so let's let's quickly get into uh, uh, you know uh, the sensor aspect and how we can download the library let me share my ide and we will go ahead and install the apds 9960 all right so we need to go to uh, sketch we need to include the libraries and manage library oops i'm not sharing my screen all right i hope you guys can see my screen so open the rde arduino ide once you open the ide what we need to do go to sketch here on top go to sketch and then go to include library okay go to sketch let me show it again go to sketch include library and go to manage libraries like this if you click on manage libraries a different window will open you can see it on the screen and leave it for a few seconds open do not type anything because it has this window actually updates your existing library within the ide which has been which comes as a default when you install it for the first time so leave it for a few seconds just five seconds at the bottom you can see it will be installing and just leave it and once it grays out it's empty then you go to this section the grid okay here you need to type arduino apd and it should populate there you go as soon as you type apd here it says the a library for apds 9960 sensor allows you to read gestures color and proximity on your arduino nano 33 ble sense board and other boards with a sensor attached via i2c bus i2c so if you want to learn more about this sensor which i would highly recommend you go ahead and click this more info guys these are skills right you need to build your skills it's not about any certification i am not going to give you any certification or or anybody else even if you get a certification you know placing it on your wall it might look good but if you don't have any skills it doesn't you know it doesn't really make sense so skills are very important go ahead and go to the github and read what exactly is this sensor all about what is this library all about there are ton loads of documentation available in this git github uh, link or you might go to my github and uh, check as well so anyways so we will once you I, i have already installed so it says it's installed already can you see it it's it's in green so for you you might get a button here something like this at the bottom can you see this install button like that you will see a button here called install so go ahead install it it will take about 3 to 5 minutes approximately do not do anything while installing sometimes it takes more time you know depends upon the updates being pushed into the ide Uh, for this particular sensor so you know uh, you got to be really patient and update this keep this thing ready and i will be back soon in the next lesson very soon all right guys until then goodbye